Hi and welcome to the 20th episode of Doom Bugs Glitch and Crashes. Vanilla Doom or Source Pod? Well, I prefer vanilla over anything else, but sometimes it's better to have both, because they tend to behave a bit different in the very same situation. I've been observing two strange things while comparing Source Pods and good old vanilla Doom. And here we go! This simple bot is pretty famous for being the very first bot done by hand. Two rooms and a few enemies, but various source pods will struggle with a randomly appearing Hall of Mirror effect. This happens in OpenGL mode as well as in software, but the latter one is more rarely. The weird thing is that a Hall of Mirror is either there or not, but this one is just coming and going whenever it's pleased. The same map in Vanilla Doom shows it's working perfectly, so this point is going to Vanilla Doom. But hold on a second. If you hide in one of the corners, you can easily glitch up the root finding and render the affected enemies useless. They will still attack you at a few points, but apart from fucking the door up, they won't harm you very much. It's your turn now to have some fun with them while they can't defend themselves, which is cool, but not intended and won't work in those parts. So the score is even now. Now it's about the match point. Who is going to win the next and last competition? Firing a bunch of rockets at a random block. Nothing special, hmm? You are right. And that's good! Not so good is what Vanilla Doom thinks a block being shot with rockets will do. Unlike its competitor, Vanilla Doom renders this block to suck up the majority of the rockets for no reason. Sometimes the collision detection works and you may blow off your ass, but I would not count on that. Also note how the sound effect is being cut off as well. Wormholes sucking up things might be cool in science fiction beat trash movies, but in Doom you should count on your splash damage. So, the source pod won this competition, even I don't like it. Mm.